instructions. Well, you don't know, it's me here, your boy Punchin TV, bringing you the hottest and the latest and most trending topics in the Suka industry in Trinidad and Tobago. And boy, I have some heat for all you. So before I get into anything, let me first thank you all for the likes and the comments and of course all who subscribe to my channel thus far. But if you are new to my channel, just remember to like the video, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get updates when I upload any new content. Alright, so all you, let me get into this thing. My previous video was an interview with Terry Lyons, being asked about her relationship with her sister, who we all know is Fayan Lyons Alvarez, the wife of Bungie Gallant. And it is no secret, there's been a little rift between them for some time, well, for, for a very long time. The interview was at a popular radio station in Trinidad and Tobago, which streamed the interview online. Now, when she was asked the question about her relationship with Fayan, she... You know, she answered the question by stating that she never really grew up with Fian or spent much time around Fian. And she stated that her dad has five kids, five different women. She went on to say she never really grew up around Fian and never really spent any time in the same space. But she goes on to say that their father, Austin Lyons, who we all know as Super Blue, traveled a lot to other countries to perform and only when he came back to record at Amar Studios that's when they will all spend time with him together and as soon as he leaves they all go back to their respective homes. She went on to say that they are both comfortable with how things are now right she said all this in the video I have the video I posted it previously but I'll bring it back to you again take a look. But I have think, you been have you been reached but did Fayan reach out to you and come back um, to you too? No. I mean the whole of Trinidad no um my sister. I thought and things I, I thought things were no, no 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 it hasn't improved and I would like everybody to know that is is more or less how to put this. We are comfortable as much as weird at this may song because a lot of people think that you know brothers and sisters need to stick together and stuff. But my father has five kids, and all of us have different mothers. Five kids, five mothers. We did not grow up together. Ah. You understand me? We so grew up in separate different lives. separate lives, separate households. Mm. I'm the only one that was born and grew up in Port of Spain, actually. And um, so for years, it has been like that. The only time we used to actually see each other is, you know, a long time those entertainers used to live abroad and they used to only come back during carnival or when it's close to carnival. And when my dad stayed like in um the studio, Amar Studios, Caribbean then all Basin. of us, yeah. yes, Sound Basin, right. that's where all of us used to come like about two weeks before carnival and stay there with him. And as carnival is over, everybody go back to their respective So that the homes. relationship is you really, is you all, all are comfortable with it. We are comfortable it with it. You know, um, I consider not just blood family, there's people in my life that that was there for me and that believed in something before they actually saw the full capacity of it. So that's why I always say thanks to Nadia. Mm -hmm. See Nadia? Nadia can get me to do anything. Well, not anything, but <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I mean? You understand me? And I want to thank people like Nadia, Full Blown Entertainment, Wendy Lewis, um, my supporters like my aunt. There are people that are very strong in my life, even my dad. You understand? And I have to say, even my mom, although she's not here, because mm. I won the monarch on her birthday. Wow, congratulations. February 20th. And I was 20 when she died, and we're in 2020. Right. So it's like the stars aligned. Yes, you heard it yourself. Now, to me, Terry answered the question very professional. And it has been said that it's not the first time she answered like this when asked the same question. So it kind of sounds, to be honest, but soon after the interview was posted, and get this, Fayan posted the video of the interview. And she made a comment under the video. She had a caption above the video, and she made a comment under the video. Now, that seems to touch a nerve, what Terry said, you know, it kind of touched Fayan nerves, right? So, in her comments, she stated that Terry is not being truthful in her answer about the reasons why their relationship is how it is. And we all know it's like forever it's been like this. They don't speak. We don't see them together in public. Nothing. 
So I have a screenshot of the post on Instagram and the comments. I'll read it out for you so you can see it's not me. I didn't make it up. These are words from Fian herself. She said, For years I let this shit slide, but at least tell the truth. Hashtag lies. Then she made this long comment. Firstly, this is not for drama, not up for debate on whether it is either. I'm not beefing with anyone either. My post is responding publicly to a publicly made statement. Yes, we do have different mothers, but we all know each other. There was no see only carnival time. She was in my wedding, stayed in my home, normal thing, etc. I'm not airing dirty laundry. I'm simply putting the basic facts out there. We don't deal and she knows why. And so does the family. But I'm not going to be made to sit and watch a different mothers. So that's the situation. Why they are how they are happened. Our mothers made sure we knew each other. I'm not into the faking for the gram nonsense. I don't speak on family. My only request, truth. We know what happened and it stayed that way. Either tell the interviewers what happened or say no comment. Hashtag period. Now after her comments, it wasn't done there. Because her husband, Bonji Galen, he made a comment as well. And he tagged Fear and Lions and then he stated, Talk without fear. Them who want to bring stupid talk in don't even care to have sense prevail. And best part as we all learn. God doesn't sleep. When light ready, it ready. Now, if you look at her Facebook, she posted the same video at 11.58 a.m. And then, at 6.20 p.m., she posted a pic stating, I said what I said, period. And the caption of the post of the picture was, Moving forward, opinions are opinions. Facts are facts. On to the next. Hashtag, period. Now back to Corona. Sounds like she, she's toting, right? What do you guys think? And of course, what she posted on Facebook, she also posted on Instagram. So you can go on her Instagram, Fian Lions, the hybrid, that is H-Y-B-R-D. And you can check out the post, just scroll down her page. You will see it for yourself that I am not making this up. This is actually what's going on. And I didn't make these posts. So, it's no fiction. These are facts. And it's basically what Fian wants. She wants facts out there and she, she wants the truth. But who is telling the truth? That's the question. Now, let's be real. This Is this going to cause Terry to respond again? Or is she just going to hold her tongue? I mean, we all know Fian don't hold her tongue. She's not of that. We all know this because in the past, she has been responding to a lot of stuff that has been posted online about her and she just has to have an input. She, even if it's true or false, she has to have an input. But what you guys think going to come out of this? Who do you think is being honest? Should they all just forget and just make up? Or should they just live their separate lives like they always been doing for all these years? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your views. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification button for my next update of content. So in the meantime, see you guys next time. And remember, we were born to love and we learn to hate. More life.